Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's been just over a week since we went to Kia and we had that, um, what's it called? It, I've got it right here in my hand. It's called the BMS Logic for Climate Control System Improvement. We got that done in the recall. Here's the invoice right here. And I remember, remember I said I'd take a look at the findings and uh, monitor it for about a week or so? Well, I've done that every day for the last week. Let's take a look at the findings and see how it went. hundred percent with the climate on as you can see 124 kilometers I haven't seen I can't I can't even remember I, I don't think I've seen 124 kilometers in months okay day two day one was 124 just like it was on um, the original day day two 121 hundred percent but we are minus 10 so it's a lot colder and a difference of three kilometers so let's see if that makes a difference Okay, day three, 123 kilometers, 100% range, a uh, little up from yesterday, so let's, uh, it, it's actually doing pretty good. 124 was the baseline when we first started, the original baseline, and now uh, we're hovering just around there. Not bad, considering yesterday was so, so cold. Okay, folks, we have 127 kilometers, 99%, not even full. We still have another percent to go up. We've got more range than any other day. Today is day four, I believe it is, but here's the reason why, probably. Two degrees, we are above the freezing mark. Okay, it is day five. 120 kilometers, 100% range. So it's gone down a little bit from yesterday, but it's a lot colder than yesterday. As you can see, it is minus eight. So it's going down a little bit, but it seems to be fluctuating with the temperature. So if anything, I would say that it's maintaining where it originally was, just fluctuating up and down with the temperature. Okay, folks, day six. 123 kilometers, very close to the original range, which is just one kilometer off, and 100% uh, charge. It is minus five. So, you know, we're beginning to see a trend here. Like, it is hovering around the original 124. It dips and goes up a little bit, depending on the temperature. There's the temperature there, and you know what? Yesterday was minus eight, I believe, and it was, what, 120, 121? So, it's pretty consistent. Uh, I'm going to give it one more day and then uh, do my uh, total findings. Okay, this is day seven, a full week after the uh, upgrade. And um, we're at 122%, as you can see there. We're at 122 kilometers at 100%. Coming over here, you can see the temperature is minus six. So, you know what? It's fluctuating up and down depending on the temperature of the day. And it's um, hovering around the averaging, I guess you could say, averaging around the 124 mark, just like it was a week ago. Okay, folks, so there you have it. That is, um, in, in the last week, what I've discovered. We started off at 124% after they flashed and reprogrammed the logic board or whatever it's called, the logic, uh, keep forgetting it. The BMS, Logic for Climate Control System Improvement. That's what it's called right here. That was done on February 1st, February 1st, that was done on January 31st, then February 1st was day one, then day two, day three, and you, you saw it all there. So 124 kilometers is what I uh, got in this winter climate with the climate control on, and as you saw, every day the temperature went up, the range went up a little bit. Temperature went down, range went down a little bit. Temperature went down even further, the range went down further. So at the end of the day, I think that what we can take from this little mini unofficial, non-scientific experiment, keep that in mind. I don't uh, profess to be any kind of a scientist or expert or anything like that. Kia may take a look at this video and say differently. By the way, Kia is now following me. Kia Canada YouTube channel is now following me. Thank you, Kia. Um, but anyways, <laughs> But anyways, uh, what I'm saying is that I'm pretty sure that it's only been a week. And you know what? Uh, I'm not going to keep doing it every single day. But what I'll do is next week at this time, I'll take a look and see what the range is. Uh, the week after that, I'll take a range. So at the end of a month, so at the end of this month, at the end of February, we'll see what the range is like and see if it's uh, held up uh, or if it's dropped off considerably. You know, obviously, depending on the weather and stuff like that, keeping that into consideration as a factor. And uh, we'll go from there. But just in that short week, I think 
it's held. It's held pretty good. Um, the reason I did this little test is because after I, I posted it on the, um, the Facebook group there, um, some people said, yeah, you know what, it lasts uh, for a few days and then it drops off back down to normal. So I was curious to see if it actually would drop back off or if it would just stay like so far it has. So I'm happily surprised that it's staying and uh, you know, we're at the beginning of February now. Uh, we probably have hopefully six more, eight more weeks of this cold weather and it starts to warm up for spring and then we're into summer. And then thank God we get our summer range back. I know I'm not the only one guys. I know you guys are all waiting for your summer range if you're in the cold climates as we are here in Canada. So hopefully we'll get that back. But I'll, like I said, I'm not gonna make a video or something. Maybe I'll make a video at the end of the month, at the end of February and report back to you guys and we'll see what the range is like then. But um, hopefully it doesn't drop off. Hopefully it stays like where it is, like how it has been for the last week. Fingers crossed folks. But so far, looks pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, throw it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, like it for me, please. And uh, we will see you on the next episode. Take care.